you're going to see here is the, the main dashboard. So you can manage all of your different VSLs right from this dashboard. Uh, you can edit an existing one, but we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'm going to click on new VSL here and I'm going to give this a, uh, a quick title. And it's going to give you a few a few different options. You can start from scratch if you want to. Okay, so you can just type out your uh, your uh, scripts right from within the PowerPoint slides itself. Or if you had, you know, maybe you hired a, a a writer, or you already put it on a notepad or Microsoft Word document, you can go ahead and just paste in the the text right onto uh, the software. So I'm going to do that just to save some time here. And we'll click on OK. And the next step is going to be all of your aesthetics. So you can choose uh, from a whole list of different fonts that you want. You can choose what color you want the text to be by default. Uh, and then also which design you want. OK, so we have all of these different uh, design, uh, design templates that you can choose from. And I'm just going to choose this one right here. And I'm going to click on Next. OK, now from there, it's going to ask you to paste in your text. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my script here. And I'm just going to copy it from Word or from your notepad. And you can see here, it, it pasted it right in here. Now, what I need to do is just tell Easy VSL where I want uh, the slide to, or where I want it to create a new slide, okay? And you can do that very uh, easily by just a simple uh, uh, key, uh, keyboard shortcut, or you can go ahead and click on Add Splitting Mark. So I can click that if I want to, or I can click like that. Just a, It's just a quick uh, Command uh, and the Enter button. And what I'm going to do is just going to go through here and I can start putting in when I want the slide to change. OK, so this could take me, you know, a few minutes uh, just depending on how long your script is. Um, but I'm just going to walk through some of this right now. And so as you can see, I'm just adding in little marks as to where I want uh, my slides to transition. OK, so I can go through here and I could do this as many times as I want to, depending on you know when you want the uh, slides to change. Okay. And so uh, I'm just going to finish that up now. And so, you know, obviously that could take you a few minutes again, depending on how long, uh, your, your script is. Okay. And all right. And I'm going to finish that up just for this demo. Okay. So, you know, I've added in all of my transitions and now I click on next and it's going to just show you a, a quick preview of all the different slides. Okay. Uh, and you can go ahead in here and you can edit or delete anything that you want to. Okay. If you want, you could edit, you could add a slide if you need to. Okay. And so you can see here it is just a live preview. Now, when I click on next, boom, it created all the slides and, and all the transitions. Okay. So as you can see here, we have all of our different slides and it marked where, where I want that transition to be. Okay. So it's really that simple, okay? Now I could go in here if I wanted to, I could add different slide animations, say I want this to be a slide up, or if I want, I could change the uh, the theme uh, design for say I wanted to change its, you know, right here, I could change that. I could have its, you know, slide right or fade in, whatever I want to do there. I could also go in here and, you know, I could change the font uh, type or the font size, or if I want to be, to be bold or if I wanted to add an image or if I wanted you know to underline it, you can do any of that stuff. So you just walk through all of your different slides. You can see here just a, a, a quick preview of all of your different slides, okay? And you can add a slide if you want to. You can move one up, you can move one down, right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the next, uh, the next um, option here, which is going to be the timeline. So now you're going to add in your audio. Okay. So now I'm going to add in a voiceover that I recorded. So I'm just going to choose the audio file and I have it right here and you can see it loads it up into the timeline. Now, uh, what I want to do is mark when I want the, uh, transitions to happen right from slide to slide. And so all I need to do is click on the play button and listen. And so as the voiceover goes through and plays, I just need to click on this tick mark. And so I'll show you guys just really quickly how this works. So I'm going to click um, play on my voiceover. Did you know that 92% as you can see, it's of the top selling products on ClickBank, the largest digital marketplace now online, I'm clicking here. uses video sales letters? And I'm just it's clicking no through and it's putting in these markers. Video sales letters beat text sales pages and split tests Oops. nearly 100%. Okay, and so as you can see, I uh, just messed up there. So I'm going to click on percent of the time, okay. regardless of the niche and regardless of the product. So how important is making a sale to you? Do you want to start making okay. sales online? So as you can see, guys, all I'm doing is I'm just walking through the entire, uh, all the slides, and I'm just clicking the slide when I want it to show. 
Okay, so now when I click on preview, did you know that 92% of the top selling products on ClickBank, the largest digital marketplace online, uses video sales letters? It's no secret that you've read how video sales letters beat text sales pages and split tests nearly 100% of the time, regardless of the niche and regardless of the product. Okay, so I'm gonna close the preview. Hopefully you guys can see. And so I could go through here and say I wanted to change one of the ticks. I could go in here and see, I could, I could drag this, I can move it forward, I can move it up, just depending on where I want that transition to happen, okay? And that's it, guys, okay? I can I can publish this now, okay? I can choose what directory I want it to go to, I can choose what video quality I want this to be, you know, say I want this to be the best, and easy VSL video, and I can click on, uh, and now I'm gonna choose my directory, I'm just gonna put it on my desktop for right now, and I click on OK and look at it's creating all the slides. Once it's done creating all the slides, it's going to create all of the uh, transitions and it's going to export an MP4 for, um, video that's ready to go. You can upload it to YouTube or, or your own or to Amazon S3 or wherever you want to. And you can have a high converting VSL ready to go. OK, it's really that simple. So now, as you can see, it's creating the transitions. Now, depending on how long the video is, uh, it may take a little bit of time, it may take 10, 15, 20 minutes to export this video, but it's going to put it into MP4 format in HD quality and it's ready to go. So that is easy VSL in action.